hello everyone good morning good afternoon good evening all depending on the time we're reaching you guys welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel god bless you really appreciate we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people as always we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country we know um, a couple of days ago, the news broke out that um, Bola Tinubu um, was distributing rice in the north and it was criticized for that. That what is going on here, Mr. Ahmed Bola Tinubu, are you so desperate that um, up to the point that you even abandoned your people from the southwest and you took your, uh, you took your, your gifts over to the north? Anyway, um, before now, we know a lot of support groups have risen up for Bola Tinubu, declaring their support for him, um, stating that um, he's the right person for president and um, all of that. But so far, Tinubu has disassociated himself from all of those support groups that and um, that he's not behind them. But I'm wondering, if you're not behind them, who is sponsoring them? These guys are just all playing politics. There is no way. all of We should know very well that all of those things are politics. Nobody will come out and start spending money and start going about doing campaign for you when uh, uh, you've not um, instructed them, you've not given them the go ahead. They're doing it on their own tip. Well, regarding the rice distribution in the north, Mbola Tinubu has, uh, uh, he has uh, um, spoken about it and then uh, he's saying something quite different. I don't know if Nigerians will believe this one because this man is a serious politician. Serious politician. We know he's interested in the 2023 uh, presidential seat, although he has not come out openly to speak about it. But all of his actions ever since points to the fact that uh, he's he's going to be running in the race. You know, the, 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 the sort of things he's been doing took his birthday to the north as well. And uh, a lot of people perceived that action alone. Political analysts um, have been arguing about it that um, Bola Tinubu is already campaigning that if you don't know just know that he has started his campaign and he's taking it to the north to um, to see us to uh, um, get support from the north even with this rice distribution. I feel that maybe because of the criticism has been too much now he's not he's now speaking from the other side of his mouth. Well we'll have all the details here we'll bring it to you shortly but before we do guys please don't forget to like share and to subscribe thank you the media office of the all progressive congress apc leader asewaju bola ahmed tinubu has cautioned volunteer groups and supporters of the politician distributing rice and other gifts as well as those receiving them to verify the source and the content of what is being distributed according to the spokesman of the media office tunde raman the warning is coming on the heels of a statement the office issued on april 15th consigning rice distribution in parts of the north bearing Asiwaju Bola Tinubu's picture. The office which lauded the true humanitarian works of Tinubu supporters for their abiding concern for the welfare of those in need said the society also has many who hate others and who will try to wreck the noble humanitarian efforts of others. It urged those who are distributing rice and other things to people in need whether or not with bags bearing Asiwaju's likeness or not, to please make sure they get the items from trusted and reliable suppliers. Do not allow hate-filled people to turn your efforts against you. The statement won. It said, as earlier indicated, Asiwaju Tinubu has never been the one to take personal credit for the humanitarian work of others. The statement reads, nor will he do so in this instance. The good efforts are the labor of compassion by others. However, Asiwaju is gratified that those who support him also have this abiding concern for the welfare of those in need, that this essence of compassion and help is occurring during the holy month of Ramadan makes it that much more gratifying. Thus, he commends the effort of those various volunteer groups responsible for this burning out of charity and love for one another. While adding the efforts of these volunteer groups, Asewaju, however, urged them to be careful. Sadly, just as we have true humanitarians among us, a society also has many who hate others and who will try to wreck the noble humanitarian of others. Thus, those who are distributing rice and other things to people in need, whether or not with bags bearing Asewaju's likeness or not, we urge you to please make sure 
You get the items from trusted and reliable suppliers. Do not allow hate-filled people to turn your efforts against you. Likewise, those who are receiving the rice and other items being distributed should only take things from such people you know and trust. You must verify the source and the content of what is being distributed. That we have to issue such a warning is sad. It is necessary because we fear some malevolent elements may try to undermine and destroy those noble efforts because of their political opposition to Asiwaju or simply because they have no law for their fellow man. Asiwaju says to such people that they have every right to oppose or dislike him. He defends their rights to do so. However, they have no right to undermine humanitarian efforts providing needed food to the poor or otherwise victimize them. If these actors want to fight Asiwaju, so be it. But they should have the minimal decency to leave poor people alone and not to disturb or disrupt attempt to alleviate the hardship of the hungry and struggling amongst us. <laughs> I don't know what Tinubu is afraid of. You are distributing rice right now. You are saying you are not the one. So who, who is buying the rice? Who is printing your face upon uh, all of that? You know, I started by saying that I don't know how it happens that you are claiming that um, all of this support group, all of the things that have been done, you are not part of it. But 2023, you are looking at that post very well. You want to you want to be president. This Tinubu wants to be president. Well, regarding the rice claim, we know that uh, the rice distribution to the north, he received a lot of criticism. And I believe that it's because of that criticism that uh, he's putting out his statement. They're stating that right now, you know, this statement is clearly stating that Asiwaju and Tinubu is not behind the sharing of the, the rice, that um, some people are just doing it out of um, their... Uh, uh, um, love for others and care for others. However, they've just decided to use the Mbola Tinubu's um, picture because they are supporting him. So, who who is sponsoring them? Who is sponsoring them? Who is bankrolling them? Nigerians know all of these politics they play, so they should not think that um, they can come and tell us stories. This statement, clearly, if you summarize this thing that um, Tinubu has just put out here, is that um, he's not the one behind the sharing of the rice. He's trying to preach that... Um, those that are doing the distribution ensure that you get them from good source stories that touch these guys they will not seem to amaze us and it is even making matters um complicated and matters worse because by so doing how can nigerians trust you you are distributing rice in the north just because you've been criticized that why is it why are you taking the rice to the north northerners are killing the, the uh your people you you've been silent you're not saying anything to them you gave 500 million uh, in support of um the the market that was raised down and now rice distribution, birthday, colicum, and all of that. Then the next thing is putting it out there that um, he's not the one behind it. <laughs> anyway, on that today's day will never end. Guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.